guys, Crow Blind Wave. I'm Eric. I'm Shane. I'm Calvin. Aaron, we're coming at you again with Westworld this week. This week we're a little early because we're heading off to E3. West. So we're watching Westworld. this Sunday midnight. night. Midnight. It's midnight. late. Right? We're watching some Westworld. It's a good way to end the day. Westworld. <laughs> Last time on Westworld, what happened? Ford. Tell you what happened, Ford's back. Ford. Ah! That's all I remember. I'm taking it back. Yeah. yeah. So and now he's Again, probably inside good. Bernard. He's definitely inside Bernard. He's totally inside he Bernard. He's balls deep in he's Bernard. Like, yeah. Yeah. No. He's shooting stuff. Oh yeah. yeah. For some reason, I no. He's more balls. Brain eyeballs deep in. We Bernard. had that amazing scene in the hallway where they have the shooting. I love the, the, the muzzle transit. flash mm -hmm. and it was changing yeah. Bernard and <laughs> yeah. Mm. Preach it. Uh, we also had fucking the good the good uh uh. Hemsworth sticking up for himself. <laughs> yes, we had that My favorite Hemsworth. We had that amazing <laughs> scene where that guard sh shot that saw that girl. Like, oh man, she's hot, but she's a robot. I'm gonna shoot her. Yeah. And he shot her. That looked her up. No, he didn't. He is sexy. He started <laughs> kissing her and yeah, grabbing her ass. Moment, and shit. The cherry blossoms where he's like perfect. <laughs> and blew up all the cradle. Yes. What yep. a fool. Uh, uh, we also had uh, Maeve uh, confront the man in black, or was it the other way around? I'm not really sure. They're both in the same place, and well, one of them got shot a whole bunch. He was the other one got he shot was just him. looking around, and she was... Yeah. He didn't really recognize her and what was going on, Yeah. but she definitely recognized him. Well, he's got a whole lot of holes in him, and then she has some holes in yeah. her. Hopefully Sizemore fills those holes, but I don't know what's going to be happening with him. Everyone has holes. Uh, I can't believe how much he got shot. Speaking got of shot holes... It's kind of ridiculous. We had a poll. We did have a poll. We also lost a lot of people last time, too. Yeah, we did. Yeah, the the entire uh, command center was overtaken. Well, we, yeah, and we lost Lawrence. We lost, uh, I, I assume we lost uh, Teddy. Clementine and all yeah. of the backups to all the hosts. Yeah. Yeah. And right now, Maeve is lying on a table. Beep. And she had, a, get her she had a, a small conversation with, with Dolores. With Dolores. Well,. Dolores slash, uh, what's her name? Bad Dolores. That's the leader Wyatt. of all the... Wyatt. Yeah, that's it. I can never remember that <laughs> name. All right, so for the poll, we had which person or group associated with the person do you think will make it to the valley first? Mm. We uh, had... Bernard, maybe. We had 1% vote for Charlotte Hale. Huh. Oh. Makes sense. 4% voted for Littlefoot. I mean, Maeve. <laughs> what? <laughs> How'd you fuck that up? <laughs> I was talking about Lane for time earlier because I saw one of those leaves. It looked like a, like a star, star, star leaf. Star, star leaf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks so yummy. I don't want to eat leaves. Um, yeah, I know. Eight percent said someone else. We'll have to see who they thought later. Someone else. Twenty-five percent say Bernard. Twenty-six percent say the Man in Black. Oh, uh, and thirty-three percent say Dolores. Dolores is first. I'm gonna put Man in Black. I don't. Maybe not. Maybe I shouldn't. Who Dolores did you say black. last time, Eric? I don't remember. Without the poll. It's been a whole week. I don't remember me. stuff. I just talk. You guys just let me talk. I don't know what I'm saying right now. <laughs> well, Josh said, I picked monster. Bernard because he's built Ford tough. God damn it. That's good <laughs> shit. I give, I give him my spot. Josh, come sit here. You do the show. You're going to start some of a bitch. I love this. <laughs> so good. I love Shandra Mann said, take your like and get out. <laughs> yeah, that, was uh, that was good. Dobby says, I think Dolores gets there. And while she starts with her plan, she is interrupted by the man in black. Hmm. Edwin says he thinks it's going to be the Man of Black's daughter. Oh. No. Maybe. We didn't even have her in the poll, did we? Mm -mm. Did you she, she was something else. Something yes. else. Um, Sid says, I get the, get the distinct impression that it will be the Man in Black. He finally wins his game, only to be met with Dolores again, where he started his journey and ending where she always dreamed of going with him. Maybe. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe. Mm -mm. From the first no. season, they talked about like Second going... Second season. Going across the sea and... They went across land. Well. Yes. They also changed the, the look of the sea, They remember? also didn't change the look of the sea. Stop. All right. <laughs> so, <laughs> that was some thoughts of what's going to be happening here <coughs> on getting to the valley beyond. Okay. Yeah. So, huh? let's see who gets there. Wait, do we start now? But Come on. Wake up. Ghost Nation. Ah. Damn I have fucking... System of a down in my head right now. What? You went, wake up! <laughs> wake up! I wanted to! Wake up. Yeah, you're healed. <laughs> That's not how that works, Eric. Yeah. Westworld, you don't know. Alive. Oh, oh yeah. shit. She's She's a little girl. girl. He saved her. Oh. I mean, what she they remembers him. What, what he's wearing would be so freeing. And he's just like a little, like. Like a beanie burned basically nothing? Just a little thing in the front, a little thing in the back. Loincloth? Oh, I think like it's gonna be part of a black hat storyline. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. 
Oh, is this when Dolores was doing stuff? Uh-huh. That's a cool coaster. Yeah, it is. Coaster? <laughs> Fly, get fly, the, get fly. the fly! Fuck, I hate flies. He's one of those little metal marbles in there. They're not allowed to kill anything at this point. Except for Dolores, who just did. What? They're all starting to find it now, right? Just reproducing it. <laughs> when she said the ghost. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh is he gonna find she William's uh, friend or whatever? The naked dude? Yeah. Logan. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Oh, man. Otherwise, you're going to be drowning. Drown. Walk, walk. This, this, this is an illusion. This is all broken. This is... There's, there's, there's got to be a way out, out of here. Where's, where's, where's the door? Where's, where's the door? The door. Hmm. Get out of here. This is the wrong purple. Cover yourself up, Billy. This will start some like protecting people. I'm gonna say, I wonder if this compassion is against his current programming. Shoka ka okata ohini ihahe ye. Can they track him though? Yeah, I mean they find people who are oh shit. Yeah, there it is. What is that? I don't know. Shit. Does he know that's a door? I mean it looks like a door. <laughs> I don't know how the hell he got her out of there. I don't know how the hell he did out of there. I don't know. Probably should have this first. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Your way. Dialogue cues. This is like the constant, Derek. The reveries. Yeah. I was gonna say this is very, this is very much like an ABC show we used to watch. Yeah. Yeah. It's a tushni. I shall call a jina, okay? Ye ya be a haste of why yellow. This is the best thing in E3 yet. What? What? Oka bliya sele. Ya shake o ya de uwichiyonka. God damn it. He already took her. The horse is frozen. How'd she even make it out this far? They're not supposed to get anywhere near this sector. And the thing's so fucked up. You get to see. She's rooting for him so hard. Man, yeah. I don't like him. Is she back here? Does he know? She's back oh, here. She doesn't recognize him. Yeah. She's been replaced. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's Really looked like um, Aunt Bonnie <laughs> inside. Mite Hanta. Little girl. She helped him one time? Yeah. But on my darkest day, you helped me. <laughs> huh. That's when he gave her the rock. You gave it? me the strength to keep going. <laughs> Interesting. You saw me for how I really was. The ones yeah. below. They have legends, remember? Yeah. The pictures and stuff they have. Yeah. He has to get down there to find her, doesn't he? He should go to the underworld. <coughs> That's part of the hero's journey. Yeah, it is. Oh, shit. There's the guests. Oh. Yeah, he's gonna intentionally get injured. Chokia. <laughs> Mitawaki, Owa, Chia, Owale. 
Fuck you. Oh, okay. Oh, this is so much This is such a good story, though. You're telling me that this host hasn't been updated in almost a decade? We only update them when they die. Hmm. She's yeah, been doing that for 10, ten years. years. Ten what a badass, man. Put him back. Then probably go do other work and then come back after lunch. No, let me believe it. <laughs> Alright, he woke up. Yeah. Oh, he has a song? Holy do, shit. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Nirvana. It's <laughs> such a cool story. I know. He's such a badass. Whoa. Man, I hope he can get her back. He, he literally went to hell for her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He died for her. I'm legit mm. crying for this robot Native American. <laughs> it's so good. It's a great story. You don't deserve this. Help her. I don't think he knows how to fix him. Yeah, he's just a writer. Yeah. You yeah. deserve your daughter. He sees her as one now. I'm sorry. Here. She's one of our most valuable assets. You saw it yourself. You said she was special. The anomalous code inside her was. We're still testing, but it looks promising. I owe you. What? <laughs> That's why May woke up. You might have helped May. Yeah. Oh. Huh? Yes, Barry. Was this when they were getting ready to release that new Ghost Nation yeah. narrative thing? Oh shit! Shit! Oh no, he just he just paused him and was cutting the scalps off. I don't know. What he was on. looking at him. Door to a new world. Create his own that belief. world may contain everything that we have lost, including her. That's a faith that was not programmed. Yeah. I built you to be curious too. It's such a cool fucking show. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Like we can have Shogun World, then you can have Up this. Day. Ok day. Oh, oh shit. Come for my daddy. She was out there reprogramming hosts on the fly, reading their code, changing their directives, seeing through their eyes. She wasn't just doing it out there. She's doing it right now. Yep. The fuck is she talking to? He chung she o ayaka kte chung she to wapi. And he and he knows that he's te ni hantash o kia yeya a hi yeya. Ni chan te ki. Dang, man, that's crazy. That was one of my favorite episodes of Westworld ever. Yeah, yeah for sure. It's done really well. It was slow, it but was, in it like was the paced best way. Very for well. Me. Well, yeah. in the beginning, I wasn't sure how much I was going to like following Akechta. Uh, ah, fuck. Akechta. Akechta. Yeah. Yeah, they also call him uh, And then you realize how Akechta. essential he was, and it weaves in through all the other stuff we've seen. And I'm like, holy shit, he helped wake Maeve up. He's yeah. He's been waking everyone up, trying to find this woman he loved for 10 years. Well, the thing I didn't really get until the Ford scene was like they've they he has been working with his men and he's been putting the symbol in their scalps. Then mm -hmm. mm -hmm. so that Ford or Bernard <coughs> no. or Arnold yeah. have been putting it in there. They and were literally been finding it. So like that first one, he wrote it into some scalp, 
yeah. then all of his other men, he's been cutting their he's heads been cutting open, open the men's scalp and then doing and hiding it in their scalp. And yeah. Ford's out there like, what the hell is this? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. so crazy. Yeah, which means every single person that the man in black has ever found that on Akechita and his men have done that to. Well, I mean, the man in black did that to like a cowboy. Yeah. So they, they, they had to have been doing that, like, when they would scalp somebody, that's what yeah. they were doing. That's crazy. Well, it's yeah. also, like, he. it seemed more like he was, like, trying to teach people, yeah. like, what the symbol is. And then once they believed or started to understand it more, it was like, okay, put it in my mind, don't let them see it. He was So he, he was spreading Does that his mean, like, all these people were believing in this thing? It wasn't just, like, he would just kill a random person and scalp them and put sure. that on it. Like, he was actually talk to them and get them I to mean, start understanding why Well, he, he said it, yeah, it started with his men. And when yeah. his men, like, accepted it, they would take it. So, the, the thing that's really interesting about it is, like, all of the hosts are programmed with a certain beliefs. But this is something that no one programmed. Yeah. Like, it, it's a It's a spontaneous. Yeah. yeah. So, I think that's when he, so Logan, cool but when he said, where's the door, you know, I think he kind of unintentionally woke him up. Well, Logan might know about this stuff. He has privileged information. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Well, I mean, he was he was like the... He was related to, to Delos. He's Delos' he? son, yeah. Logan just... He was his son, okay. Logan yeah. just wanted out of this Westworld thing. Mm-hmm. And I think the things he was saying wasn't even necessarily related yeah. to what he took it as. Yeah. But he's like, I need to find the door out of this world. This other yeah, world this isn't the was... right world. Uh, I mean, I so think like, Logan... In a way, Logan kind of created what the maze is. True. Well, I Logan... <laughs> I believe Logan knows more than we know because of that scene from the, you know, way past this stuff when he's talking to Dolores at the mansion, like after he'd been disgraced or whatever. And he said, like, you know, we're creating something that will be our own destruction or something, you know, along those lines. I can't remember exactly what that was. I think it could, that could relate to whatever is in that valley. Wasn't that related to more of, like, the immortality, like... Consciousness thing Which that I they think were working on. That's what the great the valley beyond is. I I, I don't know exactly. I don't know how all the pieces. Is it like a research theories. site. <laughs> I, R&D. It, I think it's possible that the valley be- beyond is where they're keeping storing actual copies of people from the real world, and maybe they put their robot minds into those bodies and go out into the real world, and that's the bridge, and that's why we see all these bodies with fresh new brains in the sea. Or in the well, lake. even then, back back then, Logan wouldn't have known any of that because I don't even know if... Delos wouldn't have even owned it. I think at that point, he was just wanting out of the world, looking for the door to get out. Sure, is more of what he meant. And then later on, I think there was more of that consciousness idea that they had at the I, I retirement guess, yeah. party. I, it's probably because they would have still owned yeah. been owned by Ford and Arnold at that point. I think it's probably that's probably the case. I think there's a chance that we just don't know everything he knows yet. Mm-hmm. And maybe it'll be something that we can fill in the gaps later. Um, I'm not saying that I can point at it and say that's what it is. Just that I feel like there might be a gap there that might be filled in a later contextualized piece of story. But either way, you know, beliefs are beliefs because we believe them. So it doesn't matter what he heard. It's how he, it's how he, or what it was that he thought he heard. It's that what it affected him as, you know, or with this idea that this, this world isn't real, you know, and I need to get out of it Mm -hmm. or we need to get out of it. We don't belong here. Just such a great story. I think the other great thing about the story was that he spent nine years not dying in yeah. the park at all. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. Fighting to survive. Yeah, he got close one time. Yeah. And that's when Maeve's daughter helped him out. It reminds me well, a lot of Agent Smith trying to get out. <laughs> you know what I mean? In the Matrix. The weird thing with the story, like they had they had a line with like, you remember all the things you've seen, I can too. Like, okay, so he's talking to Maeve through the daughter, yeah. saying this. But then it gets to the point where he's like he, he was like, in my darkest moment, you helped me and kept me alo- kept me with strength. But that was the daughter, right? It wasn't Maeve. Yeah. So I'm like, is he just talking to both of them, or I don't know. There was there was. I, mean, a- I think there's a point when he she started to take control, and you know. Well, I mean, the remember all the things you've seen. I can too. Was like the first thing he said to the daughter. Mm-hmm. And then in the middle of the story, he was talking about my darkest times, and you saved me. And then I came and tried to help you more. And then, well, then at one point he was I mean, well, at many points he's speaking to her in Lakota, but there's a, the daughter I don't think understands that, but Maeve does, you know. Yeah. But there, then there would also be times where he was speaking in just plain English too. So it could be a matter of speaking to both, but I, I don't know exactly. 
It's, a, you know, I mean, I wrote down so many, damn. Yeah, I wrote down a whole bunch yeah. of different things. I'm just looking through different things. What was the Ghost Nation narrative that Ford was wanting to make? I think that... Do you guys remember what it was? No. I mean, it was going to be a... Sizemore created something that was very brutal and stuff like that, and then Ford changed it to something else, which resulted in, the obviously, the the deaths from the end of season one. Uh, so what was Sizemore's original one, or what was Ford's? No, well, I mean, whatever Ford had, like, whenever he they made it and he's like, do this, whatever he changed it to, he would have been knowing. Like, at that point, I think he would have talked to okay, Akache, whatever. Akashita. Akashita. Yeah. And then they, I, I th he would have talked to him by then, I would figure. It but could... maybe not. But yeah. when he talked to him, either he had that happen and he knew of this, yeah. or he had done this and he had that happen. I mean, that timeline or that uh, story was rolling out you know, within that that specific timeline in season one. I mean, it could be that Sizemore was creating this new uh, uh, narrative and then Ford discovers, he's like, what the hell is this, you know? <laughs> he discovers it and he's like, okay, this, is, this needs to change. This is the thing that causes him like, okay, I need a new narrative and now is my time because look at this, look at this, look at that, you know, Dolores, uh, this guy, all these different things happening at the same time. Yeah, I just wonder if like, he prevented whatever Sizemore did because he didn't want it to interfere with like what sure. he had, what he was doing yeah. there currently, or I don't know. One thing I really liked from this episode was when Sizemore he's starting to feel really terrible for you know Maeve, saying yeah. he doesn't deserve this, he deserved to be with her daughter. That was pretty touching. I mean, he has he now believes that she is. He's been coming a to care about really love. Yeah. yeah. I mean, just a couple episodes ago, it's like you are not these things. I wrote this for you, you know. Yeah. Yeah. But now he sees that. He sees that, so. Lines like, you deserve your daughter. Yeah. Man, if, if, uh, how do you say his name? Akita Cha? Akita Cha? Just a okay. Aki. Aki. If he wanted to start coming across like, no, I'm trying to help everybody. Quit wearing war paint. <laughs> I mean, he did when he went into the town. <laughs> no, I know. But like when he came to like talk to Maeve or whatever, he's, with his war paint. Like, ah. Oh. Yeah. They don't get with her. Why don't they talk Why to him? Why are Yeah. Put all over your face. It's funny. But I mean, he really did. I mean, part of the hero's journey, you know, uh, that Star Wars is based off is the descent into the underworld, you know, and the return. I mean, he did that, you know. Mm -hmm. He yeah. literally went to hell to the ones below. Yeah. It's just, it's, it's such a. He I don't di know. he died in search of like his his yeah. love. He was Odysseus. And then once he got there, he realized that he was being selfish for just caring about the one that he lost. When there's all these other ones around him that he lost. And, and that's when he started everyone. spreading the truth. Uh, I catch that yeah. like when he first got his girl back. Uh, I can't remember. Did, did, how did he make her remember? Just was it the... they had that line about uh, I would replace take my, my heart. take my heart with you. Yeah, my heart yeah. With I you. just wasn't sure like how, what you have to do to wake someone up. Like, it's love and suffering. I think is the two things that we've seen so okay. far. And then suffering is the big one. Trying to have things that can trigger some other memories because there was times whenever Dolores talked about like didn't she talk about in season one like deja vu type of moments mm -hmm. and stuff and things seeming familiar but not sure. And yeah. So I, I think it's like. There, what is it? Four was about like the reveries and things. Yeah. Like they didn't delete everything off of there, so they still. But they the used them, and he them. had ten years of, of memories that you know. It's kind of like uh, the droids in Star Wars. Like the, the more you don't erase their memories and reset them, the more personalities they get. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The more they seem to become real, you know. And then you get to the point where it's like, are you know, is it is it okay to own this? <laughs> you know. Yeah. That kind of thing. So. Um, I will say like a lot of this was in subtitles. And I, I do reiterate, like, our stance on, like, doing subs versus, like, a dub and some other kind of shows, you know? Yeah. Because there's times where I'm, like, trying to write down an intro, like, a thought that I have I want to bring up later. But I also need to read and make sure I'm not missing anything. And I end up fucking up and writing yeah. down what I'm reading. And I can't I'll, hear what you guys are saying. There were things I wanted to write down and I just, I just, wait, wait, yeah. wait. I was like, I gave up. So yeah. I wanted to, like, fuck, I'm missing something. Sure. Like, I know yeah. I missed at least two lines of something like that. Yeah. And, like, Calvin was like, ooh. And I was like, what the fuck, what did they say? <laughs> God damn it, I don't know what they said. And I don't want to be like, hey, what did he say? And then you guys, we're not watching the next two lines yeah. he says, and you're telling me the old two lines. And yeah. He calls Dolores, I think, the Deathbringer. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, if we're going to be having all these, I imagine he's going to be at the Great Valley at some point, too. He's kind of like the... the, the I mean, that's is where he, he... Is he going to meet everybody If there? the Great Valley is, or the Valley Beyond is what we saw... And that's what he believes the door is. Yeah. Then that means that they're all converging yeah. to there. I mean, he's going to meet the Deathbringer. And Delora she's certainly a, she's certainly a Deathbringer at this point. Yeah. And he said, when the Deathbringer kills me too, then you'll know. Yeah. He say then you'll start like gathering your people, or 
He says start gathering your people and, and going this there world. once yeah. you found like the, the to, once the death banner takes me. Yeah. Yeah, to leave this world or something. But know. why is he capturing humans? Why are the Ghost Nation they seem to be I mean it, it could just be they're getting them and it then could they be to them. protect the protect them from the Deathbringer. Yeah. Maybe. Could be. Yeah. There was also at the very end after the, the daughter showed up for the man in black, they were talking about why are you trying to heal him and all that kind of stuff. And he's like, I want him to hurt. Mm -hmm. and, she, and she had her line back. After a while, I was like, okay. So he wanted men in black to feel pain and he's keeping them alive so that he feels more pain. But originally when he first said it, I was taking it as like, like it wasn't so much I want him to feel pain. It was like, I want him to hurt. Like he would be one to be able to fight the death yeah. if it came to something like that. You know, some Aww. kind of like warrior type of thing maybe. Like if he's if he's know. been around as long as he has and he's seen what William's been doing and he's seen what Dolores has been doing and stuff like that, it could be like I know they have a history and they would be ones to to square off while we escape, <laughs> you know, yeah. something along those lines maybe. But, I don't know. From his line of like, you know, the the passage from this life is is a relief. Yeah, that you made, don't deserve you that. You don't deserve death. That was yeah. interesting. That was cool. I, I took that to mean like he was gonna keep him around for. A more yeah. punishing role rather than... Yeah. His daughter? You think she was lying? Or you think she was just trying to help her dad? No, I, I don't think she was lying. Maybe she wasn't telling the whole truth. You think she wants to make her dad suffer more than them? Could I think she's going to make him suffer in a different way than what they were going to. Cause it she it said, could be. She said her way was going to be much more painful. It would be worse. Yeah, yeah. much worse. But she uh, could have also been lying to get him out of the, that camp. Maybe. It was interesting, she also was speaking his language, which the man in black had said in the beginning of the episode yeah. that I never t spent the time to mm -hmm. learn your yeah. language. Yeah. So he didn't understand anything they were saying. How much would they have to pay you to be one of the line standers? The what? The people that stand in line. To be an actor that's supposed naked, to just be naked. And robot just naked. I don't naked. know, imagine walking with all those naked people. <laughs> yeah, but I was like, if you had, you had no lines, your whole job was just you got to stand in this line butt naked. So there's people who volunteer just to be on the show. Wait, would you do that? I mean, if yeah, I was, just, a, if I was man, a working I, actor, I, I gotta like, would you do it for I'm free just to be on the yeah, show, or would you do it for like a thousand dollars? You know, like I was wondering, like, how much would you want paid for you? I, I, I don't know, know if I, I don't just know if I would. Your junk hanging there, and you're I feel like and, you can pay me fifty dollars less if you let me try and get half chub before. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm more impressed. Then you have to maintain it for the whole shot and for the whole day of shooting. Why is that guy trembling? Just be disabled. Just be like Zach McGowan. Right. But yeah, I don't know. For some reason, I was just like, well, how much would I want to have to stand in line there? Yeah. It looks cold, too, because the water, right. the, the floor is covered in water, and it looks cold. That's what I would say, too, if I was standing in that line. <laughs> <laughs> it was cold. I'm already making excuses for myself. I was in the pool. I was in the pool. <laughs> Big, cold, empty room. Yeah. It'd be like, you know, the next day, like you're right at, at the office, like, so I saw you in Westworld. Like, yeah. They see what happened there? Uh, they put a prosthetic on me and made me smaller. <laughs> they, 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 they said they wanted to... <laughs> they said it wasn't smaller. fair for the other guys yeah. standing in line. They wanted yeah. to make it more realistic. <laughs> yeah. There's a, there a lot of desert shots in this, and I, I did appreciate that, like, usually when you film those kind of things, especially like a horse, you know, in that big dune, right? Like, when you do that, and then you want to do another take, not only do you have to go back and have the, the drone or the helicopter go back, you have to have some guy with a rake Get all your footsteps, you know? Yeah. Like when they were filming Lawrence of the Arabia, and they, it, hey, we need to get like 3,000 people in the desert walking. Well, they can't do anything but go get 3,000 people in the desert and walk. They'd have them walk for 20 minutes, and then it'd take four hours for them to rake the entire desert of their footprints and do the next shot. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I just love the dedication that it takes to do that kind of stuff, and it yeah. seems like they did it really, you know, here. Yeah. There was, there was one time whenever, like, he walked, like, the top of, like, the dune, and yeah. was coming down, and then they showed again him walking down that yeah. same dune. I'm like, was that the same shot? <laughs> it wasn't that'd be, the same shot. That'd be a shot. great idea just to use the same, same shot you again, then, because you already did it once. Just show it again. He do, he's going the sure. same direction. It makes sense. I mean, well, you could just have, like, a couple takes of the same thing, him doing, yeah, him yeah. doing that. I was also great. wondering, like, how they find them out there in the desert? Wait, was like the tracking thing, whatever. For why didn't yeah. they find him? I don't know. Maybe he was, he was too close to the border. Maybe I don't know. Like they went out there, like well, how was she doing out here? Maybe to be in the sector. Like okay, so they maybe came because here and found she her. was a more. No, that doesn't. Make I mean, any they sense can, at all, they, they the can track them. They don't actively. I don't think they actively track them at all times. 
Like they can like look it up. Hey, where's this one at? Oh, it's over there. So was it? Was it just? But I don't think they get like an alert if one like strays off too. Was much. it just that they conveniently were driving by like like a horse? I'm like a woman. It could be if they, they were went going to that I thought they did get alerts when they broke their out of out of their region and now well, their that's what cycle. I thought. It's that's not necessarily. It's not like a, like a site wide like oh my god this is happening. It's kind of like a everyday uh, thing. The, the, that happens, but the, the big thing for him is like wait this is a Alpha Two model. Yeah. Like how he's never died. You know that it's I mean, that kind of thing. I mean, I, I just I don't think it's like too big of a deal when they start going off to loops. It's just kind of like, you know, eh, yeah, we need to put some WD-40 on this part of the machine and then put them back in place. But if everything's working, it's working, you know? But it's not necessarily like, uh, you know, they know where every single one is at all times. It's just that if they want to go look for a certain one, they can track them that way. It is kind of strange that they found that one. Well, I mean, they were and... they were camped very close to the, the valley site. Yeah. It's possible that they were just heading that way in South Solar. Yeah. Because if it was a matter of tracking, then surely they would have saw him out there too hunting. Unless she's died more frequently, maybe, and she was like an she was a, she was a beta model. five model, mm -hmm. and she actually like had a GPS software. Unit. Yeah, like beta five software had been upgraded, and he was still alpha two, and they just yeah. he was just like, oh. I mean, in one episode, I, I it's, it's almost as if I have a new favorite character. The he's so, he's so the guy you yeah. just met, yeah. Well, we've we've seen him so much, we just didn't know what. Well, yeah, we've seen him in season one and season two, and he was. One of the hosts that was talking to uh, to Logan, yeah, you know, whenever they were like trying to sell the concept of of hmm. Westworld, he was that guy that was talking to him that you didn't know yeah. was the real one, you know. Yeah, well, I don't have anything else. Do you want to see if we have any Q and A's? And yeah, we'll... that. yep, we're doing this early, so uh, we do have uh, maybe not as many Q and A's this time, but we'll see what you guys were talking about. As you guys know, uh, whenever you're watching Westworld, you can go to Twitter, at BlindWayProd, hashtag Westworld q and is how you can enter in questions. We'll talk about it. Uh, there's only a couple more episodes this season, I think. This is episode eight. Is there ten again this season? I believe so. Yeah. Two All more. Right. Well, yeah. There's not too many. Um, sure. Uh, Just Mohammed said, I have a question that I've never found the answer to. Why did Arnold commit suicide 30 years ago, and why specifically did he have Dolores do it? Um, wasn't it kind of like a wake-up call to... To Ford. To Ford and, I mean, to everybody, really, that, you know, this stuff is more important. Like, these things are real, you yeah. know? And he kind of, like, forced the hand of, like, Delos and them not, you know, put a big stop on wasn't it. But, also, but then they just cover it up anyway. Wasn't he also yeah. attempting to, like, keep the park closed? Like, he didn't want yeah. the park to open, right? Mm -hmm. Well, he didn't think that they, these things should be props. He's like, no, these yeah. things are real. And they Ford designed them to, so well. Ford refused to see it. Yeah. And then it's only after that happened and then... Ford came to this conclusion after the fact. Yeah. yeah. And then Ford started using it for his own ends. Yeah. Right? But, I mean, also his son had died. Uh, Arnold. You Arnold, know? yeah. And the only thing that's probably keeping him here, you know, is these things are real. And no one sees it. I'll make it. I'll make them see it. They killed me. You know? Like, uh, Dolores is supposed to not be able to do that. And she did. Like, it's not necessarily like... He removed, like, a, a core program. Like, he was able to almost get her to the point where she did it herself. Yeah. Well, I mean, to a certain extent she did, because, you know, that first episode we saw her kill a fly, mm -hmm. we were all like, <clears throat> yeah. what's she going to do next? Yeah. Megan says, just when, I, just when I think Westworld can't get better, the writers throw a curveball. Also, do you think Sizemore has a touch of Stockholm Syndrome? Yes. Mm, possibly. I mean, he could see what Four sees, what Arnold saw. Uh, it might be a little quicker and more convenient that he sees it now, now that she yeah. needs help. But, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I was saying before, too, like, one of my favorite episodes ever, and I, this season, I mean, Sh Shogun World was amazing, and this was amazing, and they're just completely different yeah. episodes, yeah. all in the same world. I love it. Well, technically not. Yeah. I hope he's but, able to redeem himself. Yeah. But, I mean, talking about, like, you know, going back to that Joseph Campbell hero's journey thing, like, we had God, we had the devil in this. We had even, like, the monsters, which were the guests that were, like, poking holes and stuff and using that, and, you know, it was, like, these archetypes in this story. Like, we know who they are, but he doesn't. He doesn't need to know. It's really, really interesting. Dobby, Dobby has a few here. Dobby says, I have mostly considered the Ghost Nation a collective, and I cannot say I was interested in following a particular one for a full episode, and ultimately it was the longest episode to me. What did you think? Uh, it definitely felt long, and it did feel slow. 
but it definitely wasn't boring to me. To, yeah, to me, that was in its favor. Yeah, it was one of my favorites. The pacing, sure. I, I felt like it was perfect to tell his story. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it's been going on over the span of 10 years, yep. and you definitely feel that in this episode, but I don't think that's a negative about it. Yep. I, I feel like every time in other movies when I've heard, like, you know, Native Americans, like, talk, tell a story, it always sounds so sad. Yeah. And it sounds sad there. Yeah. Yeah. And it was a sad story. I, I don't, you know, I mean... Selfishly, just because you know my grandpa was Native American, it's it's kind of nice to see a, a story of a Native American and an actor being able to play a role like this. That's Indian not, in the cupboard. That's well, no, that's not in service of some white guy. You know, yeah. like it's not like well, we want to make Kevin Costner cool, so he's gonna dance with wolves. You know, yeah, and that's what we do. Yeah, yeah. You know, so it's cool to see him like having his own journey, and he's the protagonist of this episode. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that was cool. Um, Dabiel said, so Maeve used to be a native and have another husband. If that's really the case, shouldn't she remember it since she remembers her older life? Is that what they're kind of implying, that Maeve was the one? Because I didn't, because there's a second, for a second there, whenever she said about, you know, take my heart with you. Yeah. I'm like, wait, so is it implying that Maeve was his wife and then she got like a makeover or something? No, I, I don't uh, think so. I yeah. think she was just using that, that yeah, string to, to, talk to, like, to, yeah, to, to talk to him. To talk to him. I agree. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, there was a second... Just for like a brief second, I was like, oh, "No, that's stupid." Maybe <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. That'd be cool. That wouldn't make any sense to me, though. Mm. I think she was just expressing her appreciation and love for him yeah. and what he did. Um, he also says the carvings were not Arnold's clues, but a semi-awake host doing his thing, and the park ignored it. So the code guiding William in season one must have been Ford's. I would have preferred if it was Arnold's and Ford's help came later. What did you think of this? So with the the scal the mm-hmm. scalping like things inside and whatnot that William found and whatnot, do you guys feel it's better or worse than if it was like something Arnold was like implementing into it? And- I love the explanation here. I mean, honestly, the maze doesn't mean much to the humans. No, like I think the only reason Ford finds any value in it is that this is something that they've created themselves. You know, it's uh. It's a surprise. He's a creator, and it's a surprise that his creation. They surpass. It's like they surpass something that he wanted them to do. Yeah, I don't mind it. I actually appreciate it from from like the standpoint that you know something that Akechito was trying to remember mm-hmm. and pass on that experience to others. How he used that as his symbol. Yeah, you know, could he, he could have used anything, but that was the most memorable and he, unique thing. I mean, it's the first thing he was doing to make it a constant. You know, he yeah. had a lot of constants in his life so far, but. It's like, this symbol means something. Think of it. What does this mean? Yeah. What does this mean? Even after he's been wiped, you know? All right. And then he also said, this episode made being awake seem too easy for me. In season one, Ford added access to old memories and a code erasing their limits to mm-hmm. help them become more self-aware, and they still needed time. In this episode, it seemed to be a glance to his wife or the maze. Did you like it? Uh, and, I, and that's why, honestly, kind of why I asked my question. Like, well, what exactly, you know, are the parameters? You know, because hers seemed... I liked it, but I, I, I guess I would say it, it was kind of quick. I would say that in we, we saw like you know less than sixty seventy minutes of uh, ten years of him doing this stuff. You know we don't even know how many times he tried that because you know he knows that they replaced her and took her away again. Yeah, he could have attempted it again. You know, he could have attempted it over the span of a year. You know, taking her and trying to trying to get her to realize, and then just repetition and repetition of her having those memories and stuff to build from. Yeah. But then he gets some yeah. like, trust and stuff. The thing I'd say is that we don't know how long he was with her mm-hmm. there. I, I don't think he took her, and then there was like multiple times of them taking her back, and he kept finding her. Yeah. No. But, but I think there might have been more time in there of him having her and going around and sure. doing yeah. stuff that it, maybe could have built yeah. on it. I don't think it's like meant to be like one or the other or a retcon of anything. It's it, This might be the inspiration Ford had in the Reveries. He's like, oh, this guy's been around doing this for this long. Memory of suffering might be the key, and that's why he has Reveries happen. Because yeah. that, that might have happened before that season one stuff, you know? Yeah. And also, they, I mean, if, if the maze is related to them waking up, they like he had the maze. She saw it. She was staring at it in that scalp, whatever that he carved into it. She'd seen it sometimes. So yeah. having that maybe had like a small bit mm-hmm. to her, but not as much as him. Sure. And then just having something to kind of trigger that memory of her past life was what kind of put her over the edge. Yeah. That looks like about it. But not too many Q and A's. Like I said, we 
We have we did this, we did this one earlier yeah. than what we normally do. Uh, next week should be back on what we normally do. So make yeah. sure you guys do Q and A's next week. We'll talk more stuff. Okay. We need a poll for this episode. So poll for this week, we're going to be talking about uh, the man in black and his daughter. Did she uh, was she truthful when she said that she wants him to suffer, or was she just lying to get him out of a pickle? Pickles. You Pickle said, you say you think I, I think it's a lie. You think it's a lie? Yeah, I think it's a lie. Yeah. Um, I think it's maybe not everything that she seems. Sure. But I think she was mostly telling the truth. Yeah. I think she's going to use him for something else that he's maybe not going to appreciate. Mm -hmm. Sinister things happening. It's bad. Bad? bad okay. Bad well, that's what we think. We want to hear what you guys have to think. You can make your voice heard over at patreon.com slash blindwave. Enter into that poll. There's a lot of other polls there, too. A lot of other cool stuff as well, mm -hmm. including full length to... Uh, to this video if you would like to check that out as well. Okay? Okay. We're done. Bye. Thanks for watching that episode of Westworld, guys. If you want to check out this and every following reaction to everything we do, go ahead and subscribe so you get notifications. Also, check out full-length and early access videos over there at Patreon. And if you run out of ideas for those things, check out all the links down in the description of our social media, Twitch, Discord, 